For my own amusement, we will be looking at a book excerpt from Evil Sun Rising. And this is two orcs trying to make a partnership. This is gonna be good. I'm not sure if I can do accents like I can in the other ones, or what passes for accents, but sure. Listen, you jump, you jumped up Grot Coddler. I asked you all nice to cooperate, and you didn't. By rights, you should be dead. And if you check me like that again, you will be. Ungrim, Ward Sneak Gob. Ungrim was undeterred. You kill us, you will have to find another bunch of experts, won't you? Mogrok's hand relaxed a little. A twitch in his eye betrayed his anger. No more. He smiled. Look, said Ugrim, let's be honest. We's orcs, not Groots. Very well, said Mogrok. Everybody knows you is the real power here, continued Ugrim. I do, you do, everyone does. I don't want to fight you, Mogrok. But me secret is me secrets. You're a mech. You know that, said Ugrim. Don't you be morking at me, Ugrim. You are smart, it's true. But is you smart enough? I don't know, said Ugrim. Smart enough to not get got by you, that's for sure. Mogrok's hand was still on his slugger. A plain looking weapon for such a powerful mechanic. For a moment, it looked like Mogrok was going to go for it. Then he laughed. A snorting wheeze. Once, twice, he slumped down and hooked his thumbs into his broad yellow belt. His body, his bodyguards relaxed. All right, he said. All right, we'll leave it be. But you is going to have to demonstrate your loyalty to me, Ugrim. You've been standoffish, a little bit proud. The other mechs respect you. They like your work. He trusts his disease. He trusts his diseased face close to Ungrim's. <clears throat> and I don't like that. Makes me nervous. Don't want you getting ideas. You lead the tribe to war once. Not a big one, said Ugrim. And they were thieving death calls, like I said. Couldn't wait to be rid of him, said Ungrim. Blue zoggers. That's as may be. But you done it once. Maybe you could do it again. He poked a finger at Ugrim, careful not to prod him just the same. The tension had not left their enc encounter by a long shot. You prove to me that you are just interested in making, we can rob along fine. Mogrok smiled, wi smiled wider. You help me, we'll get this war done and dusted, and have the biggest war on, your, on our hands since, well, since forever. Mogrok was excited, his sour breath painting out in strong guts as he, rela as he related his plan. We'll smash the Humis to bits and take on the galaxy. Mark my words. What I'm going to do will be remembered for all time. What are you going to do? said uh, Ugrim, who was intrigued despite himself. Simple, said Mogrok. I'm going to drop a comet on the Humis. What? said Sniggob. You what? You heard. Now shut it. I'm talking to your boss. And are you in or do I have to kill you all? Ugrim looked to his companions. Sniggob's smoke hung from his bottom lip, his mouth agape. Bosgat's eye gl eyes glowed with the possibilities presented. Through them, Ugrim could almost see the mecky dreams parading through Bosgat's skull. They didn't need to say anything. Ugrim reached out his hand. He tried not to flinch when Mogrok gripped it with his scaby fingers. We're in all right. Oh, are we in? This was a weird one. Not, not a big fan of this one. Again, the story is kind of funny. Seems to be a team lately. It is kind of funny, and I give it that. Not a big fan of the whole... Orc negotiations and stuff, but you know what? I like it. His his plan is to drop a comet on the Yumis. Yeah, you know what? Maybe at some point the Yumis had it coming. <laughs> now this is just a joke. I'm never gonna betray my uh, loyalty to the Imperium like that. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next one.